Mike Tyson punches a drunk passenger on an airplane over and over again. Here's the video. Hey, Mike, Mike, come on. Let's go stop back. Let's lose the horse, man. Now you may be wondering, well, how did this start? What set Mike Tyson off? Here it is. This is George talking to Mike Tyson, bro. This is crazy, bro, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Dog done got lit, man. He over here rapping with Tyson. Mike Tyson trying to give us some shrooms. <laughs> he don't know how to act. Tyson looking out, man. Crazy. He should have never gave you money. Peasants. They're peasants. <laughs> Jet Blue, Mint Flight. My boy just got beat up by Mike Tyson. Turn that way. Yeah, he got up. Just trying to ask for an autograph, man. I don't know what happened. Let's put up the picture. Okay. I do not condone violence. But that is the picture of play stupid games and win stupid prizes. According to TMZ Sports, the incident all went down around 10.30 p.m. Uh, 10.30 p.m. Pacific time as Tyson was slated to fly out of San Fran International Airport to Florida. TMZ Sports was told Tyson had enough of the guy behind him talking in his ear. He told him to chill. When the guy did not, that's when the witnesses said Tyson started to throw several punches at the man's face. TMZ was also told the man who was punched received medical attention and then went to the police over the incident. TMZ Sports reached out to the cops for comment, but no comment so far, no word back yet. TMZ Sports also reached out to JetBlue. JetBlue has been busy this week. And Tyson's camp for comment on the incident as well, but no word back yet there either. Okay, all right, I know, I know. All right, let's, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down, all right? Mike Tyson should not hit people that annoy him. That goes for anybody, all right? Okay, but I gotta say this. If you're going to play, with Mike Tyson like that, you are playing with your own life. This is a bad health decision here. This can be bad for your health. So look at it this way, ladies and gentlemen. This moment, and unfortunately somebody had to be on the, on the receiving end of it. This moment is going, uh, this serves as a public service announcement. Okay? Mike Tyson may have a criminal penalty here. I, I would expect that something is going to happen beyond just that moment. Uh, unless the guy's unwilling to press charges, doesn't sound like he's willing to let it go. He's the one that went to the police. Um, and in the back of my head, and this is just a transparent moment, I said, I knew that was gonna happen one day. I just felt all of the jokes that people have made about, about Mike Tyson. And I said, you know, one day Mike Tyson may actually fight a regular person. All right, you asked me thoughts. Yeah, uh, the story is—it's—it's it's funny to me. It shouldn't, maybe it shouldn't be. I can't decide if it's a commentary on celebrity culture and worshiping celebrities and just a sense of entitlement that I can do whatever I want to this other human being and nothing will happen to me because the law is on my side or whatever. So I can act the way that this man was acting towards somebody like Mike Tyson, who we know is literally a fighter, gets paid to fight, one of the best fighters in the world, and you know he still is coming out. Out, like he's a victim in this situation and technically he is but and it, it's hard because you don't want to get into the realm of victim blaming either right so who's right who's wrong and who has to eat that penalty you know and we were just talking about uh, when Will Smith when he hit Chris Rock at the Oscars and that was a big deal because everyone was like well he trained as a boxer to play Muhammad Ali this is an actual boxer you know don't upset these people 
And then on top of that, there's the other issue of just general mental health. And you can only push people so far. There's only so much that people, celebrities, or just regular people in general, we've all been under a lot of stress lately. We're not making it easier on each other. Just be nicer to people because we all need it right now, it seems yeah. like. And, yeah. I, and I will say this about Mike Tyson, he, he's, he has been so authentic and transparent about his own mental health yes, uh, issues yeah. uh, that he's you know sought help. It's been an ebb and flow for him. He's more good than bad now, um, as far as his health, uh, mental health is, is concerned. But it, but he he wears it in front of him. He lets you know up front, these are the problems that I have, uh, and these are the things I have missed out on in life because of these issues that I'm trying to get help for now today. So we'll see what happens.